It's hard to think of a situation that Bella hasn't been through before, but this is an exception. It's the first time that Bella is suddenly left by his partner. In the past, he made the decision to separate from Juan Martin Diaz Lima Tapia, but this time is different. We have only six tournaments since the beginning of the season and Bella has found himself without a partner. But why shouldn't Bella worry? What is the ace up his sleeve? Hello to all players, I'm Pablo and I welcome you to a new four set. Let's understand how Bella has reached this unusual situation for him. Remember last season where Coelho and Bella used to play together? One day approximately in August, Coelho told Bella that he wanna play the next season with Tapia. So at that moment, Bella started to think with whom he can play the next season. But at the end, he received a call from Sanjo Gutierrez. They talked during the World Championship in Dubai and realized that they were the best choice for each other. And that was true, actually they won the last point in the final against Spain. They started this season really well, reaching the quarterfinals where they lost against the Super Pibes and reaching the final where they lost against the Super Pibes. However, they couldn't go to Chile and Paraguay because Bella had some personal problems. They were expected to play again in Granada, but at the last moment Bella was injured. Actually, before knowing that, Sancho already traveled to Granada. And now we can say that that was the last straw. Sancho, after just playing 3 from 7 total tournaments this season, decided to part ways with Bella. And remember that in the next 10 tournaments, Sanjo needs to defend a lot of points. Four titles, one second place and five semifinals. So with Sanjo's decision, Bella found himself in a really weird situation. He must look for a new partner during the season. Let's think a little bit about players that Bella can call to play with. John Sanz is a lefty and he has a high ranking, but I don't know how many of you know Pablo Cardona. He was born in 2004 and he's a lefty player as well. But his best result in a World Pile Tour is just quarterfinals. I promise you that Pablo Cardona is gonna be a really top player, but now Bella has made a decision that is not Pablo Cardona, neither John Sanz. Is my Janguas. But how did Janguas get to this situation? In less than a year, the player from Montreal has had six different partners. Remember those two tournaments that Janguas played the last season with Paquito? That was his litmus test, and actually he did it quite well. But Janguas decided to start this season alongside with Alex Arroyo. They played two matches this season against Lebron and Galan and in both they were really close to win. But Janguas also received some calls, and in this time was Momo Gonzalez. They made their debut in World Pie 2 Reus winning the tournament against the top 4 couple in the race this season, Pincho and Diestro. But just 14 days after their debut on the World Pie 2 Reus, Momo Gonzalez decided to end the project. But when a window closes, a door opens. And this time the door is magnificent. The king of padel, Fernando Velasteguin, has called Mike Janguas. What are gonna be the main strengths of this new couple, Fernando Velasteguin and Mike Janguas? The first one, as money haste, is that Bella is the professor. Before Janguas, Bella used to play with Tapia and Coelho, two other young players. And actually, those players are fighting for the number one in the world. Is that a coincidence? If Bella wants to play with you, it's because you have something special. I'm sorry because I'm not referring you, I'm referring my young ones. But anyways, just subscribe to the channel to have more chances to play with Bella. Imagine how much can learn from Bella and my young ones in a season. Young ones had before Lamberti and Paquito as a professor, but now it's time for the king. And everybody knows that Bella can get the most from every partner. Second strength is Yangua's ambition. He is a player who has won everything in juniors, but now he's entering his maturity period. Actually, of the top 20 players of the ranking, he is the youngest, although he's only 10 days younger than Coelho. He has not qualified for a final yet, but he has been in many semifinals. In 2021, he started to really stand out on the tour, first with Ivancho and then with Lamberti. The injury he has in his knee seems to be water under the bridge and he is now able to cover a lot of the court. Actually, he's the second tallest player in the top 20 only behind Coelho with 1 meter 89 centimeters. Third strength of this couple is that Bella 
is Bella. There are many comments questioning Bella's decisions to join with Jang Was or just Bella's forum. The same thing happened when he decided to join Coelho or Tapia. And remember that in less than a month Bella will be 44 years old. He is the oldest player of the top 20 players in the world, the opposite of his new partner. Given what he has seen and the history, it could be that Bella will not win 90% of the tournaments as he did before or maybe he will but he's a player touched by a wand. His way of understanding Paddle is unique and he's still a competitive animal. Please remember that he reached the final just one month ago. But what could be the weaknesses of this new couple? And for me the first one is that both players are right-handed. Bella during his career has performed the best with a lefty by his side. With Tapia he tried to play on the right side of the court but that didn't work. The best version of Bella recent times has been in the middle of the last season with Arturo Coelho. He is a kind of a right side player playing on the left and it's obvious that we cannot ask Bella to smash down the line but he has his own tricks. And here comes the second weakness of the couple that are the winners or the definition. None of them are a top player generating winners so that will be pending account. Think about that the two first couples in the ranking are Lebron and Galan and Coelho and Tapia. Both couples have many many winners. However, the only pair that could win a tournament this season besides those are Stupan Dineno. And the game style of Stupan Dineno compared to Bela and Jan was are quite similar. So it's not impossible but a handicap. Their weakness of this couple are the key moments with Yanguas. It is a process of maturity and playing and playing and playing more games. But Yanguas has not yet been able to beat Lebron, Stupa or Tapia. Logically he has very little time in the top, but he has not yet been able to do that click. That first victory that allows you to enter other matches not only believing that you will be able to beat your rivals but that you already know how to do it. Coelho confessed something similar in the last interview that I did with him. Until September last year he hadn't beaten Lebron and Galan although he was quite sure that he could do it. Once he did it, his head clicked. What will be the results of Bella and Yanguas? Well it's time for my forecast. And I have to play and I'm gonna play it. Bella is Bella and that means that he's gonna be the one who makes Yanguas to win his first title. I think it's a big handicap for them that both right hand players play together but in my opinion the tournament in Marbella in June will be the one. It's an, an outdoor tournament with a slow court that I think is better for them. Do you like this new couple of Bella and Yanguas? Leave your opinion in the comments, thank you for watching the video, subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye.